Right, so we're now at the stage where we're ready to put the poppers on. You should have a rectangle of fabric. I'm just trying to open this up so that you can see it on that video screen. But you've got essentially a rectangle of fabric with all of the edges turned in and stitched. And on those shorter edges, it's the same width as that cable, which gives it a nice neat look. And then on the longer edges, it's turned round like this. So you've got a rectangle with all of the, the edges turned in. Next stage is to attach the poppers. Now the first thing to do is to fold your rectangle in half. So you're gonna match those shorter edges, the ones where you turn back the cable. And you're just gonna fold that in half. You want those edges to match. You wanna be quite precise with your folding. If you're not accurate with your folding, then you'll end up, um, once it's done up, with one side being longer than the other. So take your time to fold those in half nice and neatly. And then we're going to attach our grow grain tape. So this is your, gonna be your top edge along here. Um, your neck will go in here. And then your poppers, your shoulder, is about here. So in your kit, you've got 50 centimeters of grow grain tape. Now we put this on first to stabilize the area where we're going to then later on attach the poppers. So I'm gonna give you the measurements that I use, um, but you could slightly differ your measurements if you wanted to. Um, obviously what fits me, it might be slightly different um, from what fits you. So I've got my tape measure and I've got my wonder clips. I've folded my panel in half really accurately. Um, just move this out of the way. So there's my, my top edge along there, there's the fold. And it's going along and the hem is meeting at the end there. And what I want to do is from that fold, I'm gonna measure down 32 centimeters. And at the 32 centimetre point, I'm going to put a clip. There we go, so that's 32 centimetres just there. Then measure down 20 from there, put another clip, and then I'm going to put some clips in between. So what I have marked out now on the top of my panel, there's your fold, there's the hole where your neck's gonna go. You've got an area here which is held in place with either wonder clips or you can use pins. And then there's your open bit at the hem which matches up. What I'd suggest you do now is go and try this on. So you're just gonna pop it over your head these are going to sit at your shoulders. This is where the poppers will eventually sit. And just check, does that fit me? Um, so this kind of, this bit kind of cowls like this. So that fits in your neck, yeah? And then these bits are what poppers up on your shoulders. Just try that on and check, is that about right? Now you might find that you want to move this further away to give you a bigger neck opening or move it inwards to get a smaller neck opening. Have a little play around with either your wonder clips or your pins just to get that fit correct. Like I said, I'm going to give you my measurements, but you, which you you know you can use, and it's a pretty flexible fit on this garment. So you know probably that will be okay. But just in case, just try it on, and you can tweak tweak that, um, move those clips or those pins around until you think, yeah, I'm kind of happy with the fit there. Once you've got those in place, carefully take it off and lay it out and we're going to um, attach the grow grain tape in that popper position. So I've got my grow grain tape, this is 50 centimetres long. I'm gonna cut two 22 centimetre strips. Um, so I'm just gonna measure that along, snip it down to 22, and I want both my strips to be the same. I'm gonna get to cut two 22 cm strips. So there we are one and two each of those measures 22 centimeters and then i've got a little bit left over hold on to that because you might want to use that for testing um, when you're doing a practice run on your poppers in a minute so don't 
throw that away, keep on to that. But you should have two pieces and each of them measuring 22. What we're going to do is we're going to fold each end in so that they both end by a centimetre so that each of them end up being 20 centimetres. I've got my iron here um, on my little ironing mat and I'm just going to press back a centimetre at the end of each um, end of the grey grain. It will kind of want to, um, my iron's not quite heated up yet, it will kind of want to spring back, it's quite a springy trim this grey grain but at least you get, give yourself a bit of a crease there. So fold it over by about cm either side, you can measure if you like but what you want to make sure of is that you do the same on both of your tapes. Use a little burst of steam if you like. So I'll do the same on the other one and you should end up with both pieces um, the same length. I'll use the first piece as a guide and each one will be about 20. So if I turn those over, they should look the same. Let's just check. If they're not, I'll press them again. There you go, they look pretty good to me. Happy with that. So then I'll switch my iron off. Always try and remember to do that. Let's move this out of the way. And um, next thing that we're going to do is just pin or clip these grey grain tapes into position. So we're now ready to attach our grey grain tapes into position. Now do you remember I said that here's the fold and I'm coming down 32 here. So I'll just measure down again now that I've tried it on and I know it's okay it fits me nicely and I'll just put a mark there at 32. I'm using a heat erasable pen and then I want to do the same. I want to transfer that mark onto the inside there. So I want those to be both in the same place. So 32 centimetres down from that fold that's where that tape's going to start, and that tape. Okay, so let's talk about these tapes. On the, um, you can move these out of the way now. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so on your, this is the front, so your neck's coming out there, this is your shoulder, and this mark is 32 down from the fold. Now this grey grain tape, you want it to sit on the inside. So I'm just going to match that up and I'll put a clip there. And this is going to sit about three millimetres down from that folded edge. So you've got a little gap and then it's going to just straddle that seam allowance so it's going to kind of go over the seam allowance okay so on this is the front of the garment you won't see the grow grain tape on the front it's going to be on the inside and your poppers will sit here um, or the, out, the outside of your poppers will sit here and the sticky outy bits of your poppers will sit here now with the um, with the other side um, this isn't going to sit here and the reason why is if you imagine you do your poppers up like this when you put that on you're going to have the seam sticking up and what you want is for it to fold over so this is actually I've got my 32 centimeter mark there I'm going to put that grow grain tape to the inside to the outside of the garment so this is going to sit on the outside at the back like so so they're the opposite of each other. Just put a few wonder clips in there just to hold it in place. Okay, so on the front, it sits on the inside. On the back, it sits on the outside so that when it does up, this folds over the top of that and then when you're wearing it over your shoulder you have a nice smooth seam. What you don't want is to have the poppers sort of doing up and then you've got the seam sticking up 
it's wrapping over each other. So you're going to have your outies here and your innies here and on the outside you just see those attractive kind of ring shapes for the poppers and that will stick onto that and that will create your shoulder. So we've pinned those grow grains in place. We're now going to sew them on. Just a quick um, piece of information. When you fold this in half, because we know we did the hems the same, you should notice that your cables, so I've got a fat cable there. If I fold this, if I look at this edge, the fat cable should match up. So it should be the same pattern on the back as the front. So that should help you when you're folding it in half. You can just make sure, so I can see that my grow grain tape is starting just before that skinny cable. And there again, it's starting just before that skinny cable because, you know, these should almost like pattern match from the front to the back because we folded it in half exactly. So that kind of helpfully, hopefully will help you with, with um, folding it in half nice and accurately as well. The fact that you've got these lovely cables, um, they're kind of guides to folding it in half. Right, so over to the sewing machine and we'll sew both of these tapes in place. Back over at the sewing machine and we're ready to sew on our grey grain tapes. I'm just going to swap that ballpoint needle out for a regular universal sewing needle. Uh, reason being that I worry about that ballpoint needle going through the grey grain tape which is quite um, kind of tough. Not tough but thick. So I'm going to just re-thread with um, a universal medium sized needle. Okay, so I'll do this one first. So I'm going to start, um, I want to start sewing, we're going to have to go all the way around the edge of this um, grow grain tape. I want to start sewing at the top and work my way down towards the hem and the reason why so here I am starting here I'm going to come down here to the bottom come across all the way back up so I'm going to kind of sew a square and I'm sewing with the hem so I'm starting at the top of the like where the first popper will go that's nearest to your neck and the reason why I just do that is just because sometimes things can creep around a little bit and I really do want these to be matched up at the top if they're slightly out at the bottom I'm not gonna worry too much so I'm on a number one and whoops what have I pressed number one and I want to do a 2.6 length stitch so between two and three on the length let's see I want to sew right on the edge of the grow grain tape um, so um, there's my hem there so I'm sewing in the direction from the neck towards the hem and I'm going to repeat that same process on both sides so that if there is a bit of creepage at least I'm not affecting the position of where the pop the tape is at the neck and um, I'll do the same on both sides so it should be the same so I've just coming in, in just about probably about four millimeters there from the edge And I've put the fabric into the nook of my machine. Nice and slow stitching. Seems to be behaving itself so far, it's not kind of creeping around too much. It's trickier doing it this way um, round. The second one will be easier. It's a kind of unusual having all your fabric on this side. <laughs> there we are. Whoops. I feel like it's running away from you. Just making sure that your needle's down. Just lift everything up, rearrange it to where you want it to be and then when you come to the end you don't want to overshoot it so sew nice and slowly and if you know that you find that tricky just for the last few stitches just hand crank it and just look once it gets to the edge then lift and swivel and 
and pop that back down. We're going to sew along there now. What are you, what are you meowing about, Puscat? She sounds like she's a bit upset about the snow. I don't like going outside, my paws get cold. Okay, so back down again. So can you see my first line of stitching just on the edge there? And then we're gonna come back down. Needle in the fabric, lift the foot, rotate around, and we're going to come back to where we started. Just hand wind that last one, and then I'll one little swivel, and I'll just go back over where I started to lock those stitches in place. Trim off my thread tails in a minute. Okay, so that's now sewn on and on the inside it just kind of straddles that seam allowance not beautifully even <laughs> but never mind it looks good on the outside so um, that's where your one set of poppers are going to go and then we're going to do the other side in exactly the same way So I'm going to do the same again. I want to start at the neck position so that just in case that grow grain tape sort of um, walks about a bit. Where are we? Just in case that grow grain tape walks about a bit, it won't. Um, matter because we've got our neck position correct. So I'll start at the top. This is where the neckline is, where the fold is. Sew down towards the hem, across, back up again. So the hem is down, down there. That means my grow grains will match up nicely at the top. I'm just kind of making sure that I'm positioned correctly. Lovely. Oh, get down there. Right, off we go again. It's exactly the same again. So one of your grey grain tapes is sitting on the inside and the other is on the outside. And I'm, I'm sewing quite close to the edge. If you find that tricky, don't worry about it. Um, you know, a couple of millimetres in from the edge of the grow grain tape is absolutely fine. All this grow grain tape is really doing is um, providing an area for the poppers to go and what it will do is if you think you're going to be constantly doing up and undoing those poppers and it might stress your fabric out so the grow grain is giving you a nice um, sturdy platform for the poppers to sit on. God, I'm really close to the edge there. <laughs> if you find yourself going astray on your sewing, just stop, you know, check where you are, reposition, lift your feet, smooth, lift your foot, lift your feet, put your feet up, and um, lift your sewing foot, press a foot, kind of smooth everything out. And wind that last one into the right position and round I go. Sorry about that was my elbow rubbing on the table if you wondered what that rude sounding noise was it wasn't me. <laughs> right oh, there we go right on the edge there and now we're on the home straight.
does that. Yeah, that's a good position. A few back, back and forward to lock those in place. And that's the grow grain tape attached. So we've done for our sewing for this project now. So that's now attached. Got a bit of a rectangle and your poppers are going to sit within that rectangle there. So I'm going to trim those thread tails off there from the beginning and end of my sewing. I'm going to give it a little press just to flatten everything out. Um, and then we're going to do the exciting job of putting those poppers in. <laughs> 